Welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to look at moving the code from D2L into our Flash so that our bad guys scroll from the top down. Now, if you look at the previous tutorial, we've already done where the bad guys scroll in from the right and move across to the left. Looks something like this. If it loads, there we go. And of course, you can control with your arrow keys to move around and actually have some gameplay. It's a little bit laggy because there's a lot on my system, but you guys get the idea. It'll be a lot more fluid with your game. Okay, so I go on to D2L, and I've already worked on the code moving across the screen. I'm going to find the code going from the top down. I have it previously downloaded, so let's just go and close this guy out. Okay, so here we are, block code going top down. Now this is for the block timeline that is embedded. Do I have anything else? No, I do not. So all we have to do is copy all this code. All the annotations are already there. So command C, go into flash, pick any timeline that has the block symbol selected, scroll to actions, all I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all of this stuff, delete, and command V, paste. Now when I run my program, I have my bad guys going from the top down. Now what I can do is because their placement's a little off, oh, there I got hit. Before I was going from the distance of right to left. So what I need to do now is go back to my scene one, and because they're going top down, give them a lot more time for them to hit something. So there's some space in between for them, for my player to go through. Now my bottom one comes through. Top one, bottom one. What I should probably do is I should probably close the gap. There we go, about halfway through the screen. Put that guy over there. That's about half. Okay, so now when the bottom guy respawns, ah, I'll have to re-check re that, because he spawns here as opposed to up top. So all I'd have to do is go into my code and reselect where things are going. Okay, so go back into my block code, lay one, frame one, and if my Y is greater than 405, we're going to make Y minus 400. Let's go Y minus 450. So this way he'll spawn off screen. Let's see if that worked out. Yep. So in actuality, the guy who goes through the bottom is spawning somewhere above here. By the time he scrolls down, it's like he's coming through the screen. So I just change the distance and you can always play around with that. But that is how you would do it. And if need be, you can always go back into either pieces of code and select the numbers to be reversed. Hopefully you guys learned a little bit and we'll see you guys next time.